Hey everyone, it's Triple Mango Threat. Today we're talking about a Demir deck focused on casting instants and sorceries from our hand and our graveyard. But before we get too far, just letting you know there is merch available for you to purchase and if you want any of the cards I mention, please click the link below, it really helps out the channel. Alright, roll the intro. Our commander is Drownu, Lich Lord. For three, a blue and a black, it's a 3-3 three, three zombie lord. If damage would be dealt to Drownu, sacrifice that many permanents instead. So obviously we don't want to be blocking with him, or else we're going to lose all our good stuff. But he also has tap, target instant or sorcery in your graveyard has flashback until end of turn. Its flashback cost becomes equal to its mana cost as you play it. You may play that card from your graveyard for its flashback cost, then remove it from the game. Let's get right into the deck. Starting off with the mana rocks, we have Demir Locket for 3 colorless, it's an artifact. We can tap it to get a blue or black, or we can pay 4 mana interchangeably blue or black. Tap, sacrifice Demir Locket, draw 2 cards. Next is Demir Cluestone for 3 colorless, it's also an artifact. We can tap to get a blue or a black, or we can pay a blue and a black, tap it, Sacrifice Demir Cluestone to draw a card. With the card draw of the deck, we have Thirst for Knowledge for two and a blue, it's an instant. Draw three cards, then discard two cards unless you discard an artifact card. Read the Bones for two and a black, it's a sorcery. Scry two, then draw two cards, you lose two life. Whispery Madness for two, a blue and a black, it's a sorcery. Each player discards his or her hand, then draws equal to the greatest number of cards a player discarded this way. It also has Cypher. Then you may exile this card, encoded on a creature you control. Whenever that creature deals combat damage to a player, its controller may cast a copy of the encoded card without paying its mana cost. When discarding an instant or sorcery, don't feel too bad, because when we have our commander on the battlefield, we can still use those. And unfortunately, they will be exiled after that, but we get the option to cast them anyways. Next up is River Kelpie for 3 and 2 blue. It's a 3-3 beast. Whenever River Kelpie or another permanent enters the battlefield from a graveyard, draw a card. That's not too important, but the real important part is when a player casts a spell from a graveyard, draw a card. This is not just you, but even your opponents. And River Kelpie has Persist, so when it dies, it comes back with a negative one, negative one counter. Next is Deep Analysis. For three and a blue, it's a sorcery. Target player draws two cards. It also has Flashback for one and a blue, and we pay three life. Dusk Mantle Seer for two, a blue, and a black. It's a 4-4 four, four Vampire Wizard. It has Flying. At the beginning of your upkeep, each player reveals the top card of their library, loses life equal to that card's converted mana cost, then puts it into their hand. So no, you're not getting any draw triggers, but you are getting cards by losing life, as well as your opponents. Next up is Compulsive Research for two and a blue, it's a sorcery. Target player draws three cards, then that player discards two cards unless he or she discards a land card. Next is Dismiss for two and two blue, it's an instant. Counter target spell, draw a card. Next is Secrets of the Dead for two and a blue, it's an enchantment. When you cast a spell from your graveyard, draw a card. Secrets of the Dead is another great card to have in your deck, and you will already be casting cards from your graveyard, so why not? Thought Scour for one blue, it's an instant. Target player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Draw a card. Notion Rain for one, a blue, and a black. It's a sorcery. Surveil two, then draw two. Notion Rain deals two damage to you. Opt for one blue is an instant. Scry one, draw a card. These cards are great for setting up your graveyard, your hand, and upcoming cards you're going to draw. Frantic Search for two and a blue. It's an instant. Draw two cards, then discard two cards. Untap up to three lands. Pour over the pages for three and two blue, it's a sorcery. Draw three cards, untap two lands, then discard a card. Forgotten Creation for three and a blue. It's a 3-3 three, three zombie horror. It has Skulk. At the beginning of your upkeep, you may discard all the cards in your hand. If you do, draw that many cards. 
Now moving on to the removal part of the deck, we start with Solemgar's Command for 3, a blue, and a black. It's an instant. Choose 2. Counter target non-creature spell. Return target permanent to its owner's hand. Target creature gets negative 3, negative 3 until end of turn. Or destroy target planeswalker. Next is Dispel. For 1 blue, it's an instant. Counter target instant spell. Last we have Nahil Spellbomb for 1. It's an artifact. Tap, sacrifice Nahil Spellbomb. Exile all cards from target player's graveyard. When the Hill Spell Bomb is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may pay black. If you do, draw a card. Doomblade for one and a black. Destroy target non black creature. Demir Charm for a blue and a black. It's an instant. Choose one. Counter target sorcery spell. Or destroy target creature with power two or less. Or look at the top three cards of target player's library. Then put one back and the rest into that player's graveyard. Sever the bloodline for three and a black, it's a sorcery. Exile target creature and all other creatures with the same name as that creature. And it has flashback for five and two black. Dissipate for one and two blue, it's an instant. Counter target spell. If that spell is countered this way, exile instead of putting it into its owner's graveyard. Murderous cut for four and a black, it has delve. Destroy target creature. Insidious Will for 2 and a blue, it's an instant, choose one. Counter target spell. You may choose new targets for target spell, or copy target instant or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. Rewind for 2 and 2 blue, it's an instant. Counter target spell, untap up to 4 lands. Negate for 1 and a blue, it's an instant. Counter target non-creature spell. Murder for 1 and 2 black, it's an instant. Destroy target creature. Last for removal, we have Counter Squall for a blue and a black, it's an instant. Counter target non creature spell, its controller loses 2 life. Curse of the Swine for X and 2 blue, it's a sorcery. Exile X target creatures. For each creature exiled this way, its controller puts a 2 2 green boar creature token onto the battlefield. Curse of the Swine is currently an underrated card and can take care of many threats on your opponent's board. I highly suggest picking this one up. Now as for the mana reducers of the deck, we have Jace's Sanctum for 3 and a blue, it's an enchantment. Instants and sorceries you cast cost 1 less to cast. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery, scry 1. Next is Arcane Melee for 4 and a blue, it's an enchantment. Instance and sorcery spells cost two less to cast. Now be aware this also applies to your opponents, so if they have a similar deck, you may not want to cast this. And last for our mana reducers, we have Curious Homunculus for one and a blue. It's double sided, but I'll read the front side. It's a 1 1 homunculus. Tap, add colorless to your mana pool. Spend this mana only to cast an instant or a sorcery spell. At the beginning of your upkeep, if there are three or more instant or sorcery cards in your graveyard, transform Curious Homunculus. Voracious Reader has prowess, and it also has instant and sorcery spells you cast cost one less to cast. So this category I'm calling Whenever, and this is because Sphinx Bone Wand for seven colorless, it's an artifact. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may put a charge counter on Sphinx Bone Wand. If you do, Sphinx Bone Wand deals damage equal to the number of charge counters on it to target creature or player. Talran Sky Summoner for 2 and 2 blue. It's a 2 2 Merfolk Wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, create a 2 2 blue Drake creature token with flying. Trail of Evidence for 2 and a blue. It's an enchantment. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, investigate. Put a colorless clue artifact token on the battlefield with pay two, sacrifice this artifact, draw a card. Next is Murmuring Mystic for three and a blue, it's a 1-5 human wizard. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, make a 1-1 blue bird illusion creature token with flying. I'm going to call this category Redo. We have Aetherize for three and a blue, it's an instant. Return all attacking creatures to their owner's hand. Next is Unwind for three and a blue, it's an instant. Counter target non-creature spell, untap up to three lands. Winds of Rebuke for one and a blue, it's an instant. 
Return target non-land permanent to its owner's hand. Each player puts up to two cards of his or her library into their graveyard. Traumatic reversal for one and a blue, it's an instant. Untap all non-land permanents you control. Archaeomancer for two and two blue, it's a one-two human wizard. When Archaeomancer enters the battlefield, return target instant or sorcery card from your graveyard to your hand. This category is called More Answers. Let's start with Mystical Teachings for 3 and a blue. It's an instant. Search your library for an instant card or a card with flash. Reveal it, put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. And this card also has flashback for 5 and a black. Drift of Phantasms for 2 and a blue. It's a Defender, 0-5 Spirit, and it has Flying. More importantly, it has Transmute for 1 and 2 blue. Pay that. Discard this card. Search your library for a card with the same converted mana cost as this card. Reveal it and put it into your hand, then shuffle your library. Play only as a sorcery. This category is called Grave Options. Epiphany at the Drown Yard for X and a blue. It's an instant. Reveal the top X plus one cards of your library and separate them into two piles. An opponent chooses one of those piles. Put that pile into your hand and the other into your graveyard. Extract from Darkness for three, a blue, and a black. It's a sorcery. Each player puts the top two cards of his or her library into his or her graveyard. Then put a creature card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. Fact or Fiction for three and a blue, it's an instant. Reveal the top five cards of your library. An opponent separates those cards into two piles. Put one pile into your hand and the other pile into your graveyard. These cards do tremendous work in the deck. And the plus side is when it comes to Epiphany at the Drown Yard or Fact or Fiction, we get benefit from either our instant or sorceries ending up in our graveyard and our opponent has no real choice but to help us out with that. Deranged Assistant for one and a blue, it's a 1-1 one, one human wizard. Tap. Put the top card of your library into your graveyard. Add one colorless mana. Forbidden Alchemy for two and a blue, it's an instant. Look at the top four cards of your library. Put one of them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. And it has flash for six and a black. Our last category is copy that. Echo Mage for one and two blue, it's a human wizard. He has level up, which costs one and a blue. From levels two to three, you can pay two blue to tap. Copy, target, instant, or sorcery spell. You may choose new targets for the copy. For level four and up, you can pay two, tap, copy, target, instant, or sorcery spell twice. You may choose new targets for the copies. And last but not least, we have Mirari for five colorless. It's a legendary artifact. Whenever you cast an instant or sorcery spell, you may pay three colorless. If you do copy that spell, you may choose new targets for the copy. Hey, you made it to the end of the video. I wasn't feeling the best today, as you can tell in some parts or all parts of the video, but thank you for sticking with me. If you did like this video, please leave a thumbs up. If you want to tell me how the deck could be better or just say hi, comment below. And if you want to see more of this mango-like content, please subscribe. Also, we hit 46 subscribers. How awesome is that? Again, there is merch available, and if you want to purchase this deck, I will have a link below. It really helps out the channel when you use it. I will see you guys in the next one. Uh, peace.